Okay, so right now I'm thinking about how I'm going to lay out my leaves flo floating through the air. And I'm looking at the leaves that are on the plate here. And thinking about making sure that I do them where some are uh, turned different ways than others and that they are um, very different kinds of leaves that are next to each other to make it exciting. Also to include the sticks. So I'm going to begin by sketching with a regular pencil. And I'm just going to think about it as if the wind is just making them float through the air. lively. I'm going to put a stick right over here. those little nubs coming out on the sides and make sure that this has on the stem a double line. Also that it should have veins. So the veins come up from the bottom and they work their way towards the center. Go out to the points on the leaf, like that. And I'm going to do a different type of leaf. This one has a little bit of a zigzag kind of an edge to it. Whereas that's smooth and that one is smooth. I think right over here, I'm going to do another of these kind, a kind of curl. And I'm going to put a little acorn over here. Just gonna put some more little twigs. And I'm actually gonna have one area where there's an overlap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a larger leaf that goes right off the page. That's behind everything. It has a little bit different coloring. I'm going to indicate that. And I'm going to also indicate where the coloring changes on this. Just a little bit. And I think what I'll do is I'll put another leaf right back in here that has the points. They're not too hard to draw. Another 
stick. And you can make one go right back in here so the eye kind of swoops around that way. So that's the drawing. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to do the watercolor. So I'm going to mix some color. I'm going to start with this big leaf right here in the front. So what I'm going to want to do is to get some nice greens and browns and yellows in there. So I'm going to start with some yellow. Just mix it right there. And if there's not enough on that one, that's why I have this one. It's plenty. And then we add some of this color in. It's an orange kind of yellow, an ochre. And I have that over here as well. Okay, make sure I have a good amount. want to be using it on more than one leaf. Okay, and then get some green. That green is a little too bright, so I'm going to dull it down a little bit. Rinse my brush well. Put a little brown in there so it's not such a bright green. Get some orange, put that in here, get some nice fall colors. So they're all available. And some more brown. I'm just going to do that separately. So I have it to work with. And I'm going to do some blue for the sky. And I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to do that on the plate. So I'm going to need that bigger. So I'll show you how I do that. Good amount. Oh, get a bigger brush for that. Okay, so that's going to be for the sky. All right. Yeah. All right, so. I have all my colors mixed. Now, what I'm going to do is lay in some of that scuff right off the bat. I have to put something behind this. Put it on a piece of paper. 
over there. worried that it's a nice wide brush because I want it to look realistic and not streaky is quite watered down and I could always go back and make it a little bit darker. As you can see I have enough for the background. It's going to be very pretty how they look like they're floating through the air. decide on where I would like it to be a little darker. So now I'm going to go back with this pan and I'm actually adding some of that into the tray. I'm deciding where it would look nice to have some darker blues. Since the eye goes down this way, I'm adding in the blues to make the eye continue to move in that direction. This background is going to have to dry a little bit. And then I could go back and go over the lines with some pen or even with some colored pencil. Stop at that point for it to dry. 